hello there welcome once more to Crunchyroll's kitchen and if this is your first time stopping by a very warm apartment to you today i'm sharing with you how to make hausa cocoa from scratch hausa cocoa is porridge so cocoa actually means porridge and we call it hausa cocoa because it is a recipe from the northern part of ghana i love it my mom has always made hers at home and so that is what I normally know. I know there are very good ones on the street as well. And people have great cocoa joints. But today we are going to make it and I hope it's going to end up as delicious as the ones you would buy on the street. And uh, it pairs perfectly well with Kose and I'll have another video for that. You can have it with your bowl food, with your bread. And if I want to have it with bread, I love to have it with tea bread, which I hope to share the recipe with you one of these days as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this is spicy. You can uh, alter the spice as much as you want. I'm not going to make this too spicy because my kids love it. And so I want to make sure they can have it anytime. So let's do some cooking. So this is my millet and it's a total of four cups. And I have tried to uh, take the chaff, all the foreign material that I could pick out of it. And now I am going to soak this overnight. So I pour in some water. And right here on the surface, it's a lot of uh, light particles. And some of them are flowers, seeds, you know. It's not actual millet. So I'm trying to get rid of those ones that are floating. It's the good grain that is on the bottom now. It has sunk. And all these on the surface are not, you know anything to add to your porridge so i'm scooping as much of it as i can off and then i'll let this sit overnight to soak and then we'll continue tomorrow so on day two of our house cooking making process you will come to find this some air pockets on the surface or bubbles on the surface of your water because some amount of fermentation is taking place and your grains should have swollen to look something like this and now i have washed my millets i just washed my grains and i'm going to transfer them into a bowl and as i do that i try to swirl you know just like i did with the rice and this way you're going to try to um, let all the gravels and everything that will be still in the grains you want them to be retained on the bottom of your bowl and that is exactly what i got you see all these little gravels you don't want your porridge to be sandy and now well that's my name and now i have my ginger quintia which are negro peppers and some dried peppers which we call we the accounts will say mesoa or any kind you know any dried chili peppers you don't want to put fresh peppers if you can help it in your porridge it doesn't taste that great and so i have them on the bottom and now i'm going to add some millets add some water and blend so you're going to try to blend to be as smooth and as well blended as your blender can do mine is a little old and if you have a good blender you should be able to have more of your grains you know blended so you'd have less residue and more of the uh, the good part what you want for your cocoa so i blended and i poured into a strainer and i am trying to get as much of the juices and everything you know and as less chaff as possible and then i blended the other part the remaining and i continued the process and i have to say after i strained this I also re-blended the, the chaff, you know, because it still has some juice in it that is going to help, you know, to give me more porridge. So I add just a little water because the water helps to you, for you to be able to get as much of the juices out as possible. When it's that concentrated, it's hard for you to do. And so that is what I'm doing now. I am going to blend the residue just so I can get more out of it, you know, especially when I like, I always say, if I carry this all the way here, paid extra luggage, 
I better get my money's worth, you know. And of course, when it's done, there's no not going to be any more. And my kids love it. So, and you could tell I'm still getting some good amount of juice from this. And now I'm going to use my hand to, so I'll be able to even squeeze out some more. And there we go. Now, we're not done. Before, because you want your porridge to be as smooth as possible, you know, the consistency that you get from the cocoa cellar, we are now going to run this through a nuts milk bag. You could use a cheesecloth or any nice clean cloth that you think can strain, but I love using my nuts milk bag. And so I'm pouring this in here now. And it has a drawstring that you could pull and makes it easy. And you just keep on squeezing and squeezing to get all your liquid out. So I'm going to try and squeeze. Right now it's very full so you don't want it to splash over you. Because you're getting a lot of juice coming out. So I'm trying to squeeze bit by bit until I get to this level and then you can really squeeze it like break it out like as if you were squeezing some piece of cloth that you washed well yes get as much juice as you can from it yep there we go so now I think I've had my money's worth and so I poured in the one that I first drained put them together in a bowl this is an airtight bowl covered and I'm going to let this sit overnight so the next day look the millet is settled in the bottom there's been some sedimentation the water on the surface and now i can easily make my house a cocoa now so i am starting by boiling my water and whilst the water boils i am going to try to drain this liquid that is on the surface now you know and leave the sediments which is the millet itself on the bottom and now i am going to scoop some of this it's like a paste now into another bowl this is probably like a cup and a half of this paste that I have scooped and I am going to mix it with some water cold to warm water and then so it's very thick now and this is what you're going to pour into your hot water to make your porridge so i have this set on the side and the rest i normally put in uh, bowls or containers and freeze and then when i need to make more porridge i bring them out anyway you want your water to be boiling just like it is right now and now i am going to pour my millet you know the paste that i made into a liquid form in here but because it's already thick and the water is boiling look as soon as you pour it into it you have your porridge consistency right away and you never want to overcook your porridge this is done it is cooked and there is your hausa cocoa ready to be served so this is exactly where you turn off the heat because your cocoa is done you don't want to cook it any further and so i'm going to turn it off transfer it into a serving bowl and we are going to have some good brunch because by the time i was done making this it was brunch time and look at that a bowl of goodness just landed on the table and i have all that it goes with the peanuts milk sugar kose yes i'm going to share the recipe for the kose with you as well and i have some bull fruit as well all that I need extra is some tea bread, but I don't have that now. And hopefully I'll make that and share it with you. But look at this porridge. Is this not beautiful? It makes me feel like I'm just standing by my favorite cocoa joint or in my mom's kitchen because I told you she makes her own porridge most of the time. Freeze it and we make it whenever. Just look at that perfection if you want yours any darker you can go ahead and add more of the negro peppers or grains of salem which is the wintia and the peppers you know the actual mesua and it will make your shade dark but for my kids sake this is perfect my little girl she's gonna be like hoo, 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 hoo. it's so hot it's so hot so <laughs> anyway i'm gonna put my sugar you could sweeten it with anything that you want to your taste 
or you could omit sugar if you want to go all the way out you know healthy no sugar and this spillet is a good source of protein you know so here we go some milk ah and if you want some peanuts you just put some peanuts on and that is heaven right there right there i really hope you try this and until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy.